Hey guys, locally lost lapidary here. Uh, me and Emily just got done doing a live sale. I had all of my uh, materials and jewelry out, so I thought I'd just show you guys a couple of things we got in our collection. Um, here's some opal pendants we recently made. Came out really great. Just flaming hot. A lot of people enjoyed these. And then we have this, remember the Mexican fire opal? Look at that. Made a perfect pendant. Just good stuff. It's another little opal ring. But what's really cool is I have a bunch of these butch uh, malachite specimens. This one in particular is Chrysocolla malachite or malachite chrysocolla. It's very beautiful. Has a lot of druzy on it, like underneath. Nice and pretty. Fell in love with it the first time I seen it. I don't think I'm ever gonna cut this stone. I think that'd be a sin. I'm just gonna keep this one whole forever. I don't know if I'm gonna cut any of my Botrodal malachite again. I don't know, it'll take a lot for me to do that. Here's another one. Beautiful. Gotta love it. And then we got this piece. It's, uh, man, to be honest, this is definitely Chrysocolla. I'm gonna say it's Chrysocolla on Malachite. I don't know, Emily just picked it up because it looked so like appealing but it's awesome nonetheless Ooh. I call this one the pizza slice as you can see I've cut out of it before I've made up two rings and a pendant out of this little piece of pizza slice <laughs> It's awesome. I don't know what got into me when I went in that shop. I just had to buy this stuff. I've never seen it before and I was just infatuated. I bought all this malachite at once. I bought this because of all the azurite on it. Just covered. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably just have it forever. <laughs> and I have this piece here. Some chrysocolla malachite. This is diopsid, diopsid. I don't know. How do you say it, babe? Depot side, I think. I don't know. I'll probably find out after the video. <laughs> but it has a little piece of that right here on the side. Emily's eye caught that. That's why she got this piece. Oh, that brought your little action in there. It's really nice. It's even velvety, a little bit right there too. Freaking awesome piece. Again, never gonna cut it, just gonna have it. Beautiful. Uh, I got this big chunk of Azurite, cause it was so jimmy. Did not say no. Look at all that. And then this one, this is awesome. It's Malachite Chrysocolla. It's Jimmy, Druzy everywhere. Oh, it's just awesome. I 
I have thought about cutting a little piece of this off before and uh, quickly corrected myself and didn't do it. <laughs> I just love the way I like it. If you look at it, it has those layers. And I know it makes some awesome material or some awesome jewelry. better left hole. I actually got this uh, phantom quartz from a live cell on Lapidary Dave's channel. It was the Grandma Jean crystal collection sale. I bought this. It's a phantom quartz cluster. And it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And it was fun just to be part of the live sale and all. And then I got this one too. I only picked this one out like right away. <laughs> she was so fast. Like uh, when you claim the, the specimen or... She would like just type it in super fast and no, like no one stood a chance, you know. She had the sentence like halfway typed and also all she had to do was type Thought 67 enter, or you know. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. I just thought I'd show you guys a couple things I, while I had them out. Been super busy lately. I've made over um, well over 40 pieces recently. She's been working hard. We will have a cutting video here soon. I promise. Look at that little piece. That's pretty. It's gonna be the opal. Oh, and tomorrow I'm getting a package of slabs. So there's that. This emerald there. Oh yeah, check out my um, it's a angel chime malic. I mean angel chime moldavite. It's awesome. It makes a ringing sound. And this is my angel chime Libyan desert glass. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is a huge chunk of LVG. And here is some cobalto, right, babe? Cobalto. Yeah, cobalto calcite. The only one in the store. Emily has an eye. She does. She's real good at finding things. Beautiful. Bubblegum pink. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be posting that unboxing. And we'll get to start. I, I need to cut at least, I need to make 30 or 40 more opal pieces for an upcoming show. Uh, February 11th, I'm going to be going downtown where I live and selling at a beauty salon. So I plan on cutting a bunch of opal, a bunch. But uh, we'll open that box tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're moving pretty fast. I think we're about to hit, we're, we're knocking on 300 subscribers door. Thanks for riding with me guys and uh, making this possible. Let's keep on going. Let's do something different, make it happen. You guys have a good day or a good night, and I'll see you on the next one.